Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys what is hyperfile.sys on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer and how if you wanted to disable it or quote unquote delete it. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this tutorial. So just want to start right off the bat that it's not really any virus or anything that you should necessarily delete. However, basically what this is, it's a file that's created during the hibernation process if you actually use hibernation in Windows. So when the computer would wake up from hibernation mode, different from sleep mode or locking your computer, hibernation files allow you to get your computer right back up from the previous state. So it lets you shut it down and then turn it on, except you're not really completely shutting it down. It's still storing information on your computer. So just a lot of people don't use this feature. A lot of people just either sleep or shut down their computer. So if you just want to turn this off, I will show you guys how to do that. So pretty straightforward process, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the search icon. Type in CMD, best result, should come back with a command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, go ahead and type in power, CFG, space, minus sign H. So one more space and then type in off. So if you want to turn hibernation off, you're going to have it off. If you change your mind down the road and rather turn it back on, just type in the exact same thing you see on my screen here, except instead of typing off at the end, type on, O-N. So again, power, P-O-W-E-R, C-F-G, space, minus sign H, space, O-F-F. -F. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. And that's all you have to do, guys. And you should reset your computer for the change to take effect. You can also do this through power options in the control panel. So if you want to open up the search icon, type in control panel. Go ahead and open that up. So your view by two large icons, and then you want to select power options. So go ahead and left click on that. And then select where it says on the left side, choose what the power blend does. And now if you actually had options on here for hibernation, like if your computer supported or was turned on, you could see it down in this list and you can uncheck it from there. But generally speaking, the command line is the quickest way, in my opinion, to do it. So that's why I showed and highlighted that method first. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.